everybody, I'm RJ Huss with the Florida Groundwater Association here to share with you some vital information about the Florida Aquifer, the Inland Protection Trust Fund, and politics. You may not know this, but over 90% of Florida's drinking water comes from the Florida Aquifer pumped from wells similar to this one. An aquifer is a water-bearing layer of rock, sand, or gravel. In Florida, the aquifer is made up of a carbonate rock called limestone, which creates one of the most productive water-bearing units in the world. The Florida aquifer stretches from South Carolina, southern Georgia, south Alabama, and all of Florida. One of the little unknown facts about the geology in Florida is that it is called karstic, which means the limestone is riddled with sinkholes, solution features, and highly permeable limestone that has been degraded over millions of years. This karstic geology creates some of the most unusual features in the world, such as the Florida spring systems. It also has a detrimental aspect, which is the lack of a continuous confining unit. A confining unit is something that separates one aquifer from another, or separates a water source from the overburdened soils. A confining unit is usually made up of silt or clay, which separates these water sources. I am here to tell you that the Florida aquifer, our most precious resource, is in jeopardy due to leaking underground petroleum storage tanks. In the mid-80s, a large city in Florida had its public water supply contaminated by leaking gas tanks from a gas station located near the city's well field. In order to help in cleanup costs associated with situations such as this, the state initiated a cleanup program that is funded by a gas tax. This fund is called the Inland Protection Trust Fund, and the cleanup of the contaminated sites and the cleanup program are managed by Florida's Department of Environmental Protection. At the present time, there are over 24,000 contaminated sites registered with the FDEP waiting to be addressed. The longer we wait, the more the petroleum hydrocarbons degrade into our drinking water. In recent years with the state of the economy, the legislators have seen the Inland Protection Trust Fund as a source of revenue for the budget shortfall and have taken monies appropriated for that program and funneled them elsewhere. This year, the trust fund was swept. Money was taken from the trust fund and put into the general revenue and the small portion of the program that was kept alive by bonding is expensive and costs the taxpayers millions. This act by our legislative body is only delaying the cleanup of these sites, which exasperates the problem by allowing the contamination to spread, leading to higher costs in the future, again passed on to the taxpayers. If we wish to continue to drink potable water, then we must put the trust back into the trust fund and allow all of the funds that were appropriated by the legislative body in 1985 to be allocated back to their intended purpose, which is cleaning up contaminated sites created by leaking underground storage tanks. I strongly urge you to contact your local legislative representative about this issue before it's too late. For more information about this subject, please contact the Florida Groundwater Association at www.fgwa.org.